Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's episode, we're going to be diving into the world of Windows 11 customization and we're going to be bringing back the older start menu layout that we saw in Windows Vista and Windows 7. Now as I'm sure we all know, Windows 11 changed not only the location of the start button, at least by default it moved to the center of the screen, but it also changed the design and layout of the start menu itself to this Windows 10X style layout, which I'm sure many desktop users are not really a fan of. This might be a great interface for tablets and any touch-based device that's going to be running Windows 11, but me personally, as a desktop user, I'm not really a huge fan of this. I much prefer the older style start menu that we saw in Windows Vista and Windows 7. Now, this topic of trying to replace the Windows start menu is nothing new. Ever since Microsoft dropped the start menu back in Windows 8, people have been trying to resurrect it and get the old Windows 7 style start menu back and this led to the rise of programs like Classic Shell which is no longer in development but there are forks of it such as Open Shell here that uh, I personally use even today on my Windows 10 computer. Now even though Windows 10 introduced or reintroduced the start menu to Windows it just wasn't the same and people who wanted the older traditional style layout just continued to use programs like Classic Shell or now Open Shell. And all of that brings us to Windows 11 where Microsoft has once again decided to change the layout of the start menu. Now, if you're not a fan of this, the good news is you don't have to use it because programs like Open Shell do still work just with a little bit of a caveat. It's actually a pretty large caveat and that is it does not replace the functionality of the existing start button. So if I were to replace the start button, instead of replacing it, it just overlays the open shell button over the existing start button. So you can still actually, if I mouse like right up here into the top right corner, I can click on the uh, original, the actual Windows start button. Now, this isn't really the biggest deal in the world, but it starts to become a problem when you try to apply, for example, the classic design right here, the classic button. Uh, it actually starts to cover your pinned applications here, which isn't good. The good news is it covers the start button completely. And if you align the taskbar buttons to to the center, well, the open shell button is going to stay over here on the left, which honestly is probably the best way to use it right now until the application gets fully updated to work properly with Windows 11. But this video is not about open shell at all because today we're going to be talking about Start 11. Now, Start 11 is a piece of Stardock software. Now, Stardock has been around in the Windows customization space for over two decades now, and they're very good at what they do. They are known for for creating very detailed customization programs. And Start 11 is the latest version of their Start line of software, which started back with, you guessed it, Start 8. Well, maybe you didn't guess that, but Start 8 was released back when Windows 8 came out when Microsoft dropped the Start menu. Start 8 uh, brought back that functionality. And what I really like about this program is not only does it give you the functionality of the older Start menu back, but it also takes the design cues from Windows 11 and makes it feel a bit more factory, if you will, like something that Microsoft would have shipped with the operating system. Now, I do want to say that this video is not sponsored, not paid for in any way by Stardock. This is just a program that I found interesting. I personally downloaded it, tried it out. I thought it was really cool. Now, as you can see, this program is not free. It costs $4.99, but the good news is even though Stardock doesn't actively advertise it on their website, there is a 30-day free trial available for Start 11, but you have to download the installer from somewhere else because Stardock does not provide it on their website here. Uh, this download link up here is just takes you to the same page. It's not a download link for the actual setup executable. Luckily, websites like Softpedia have mirrors available, and that's what we're going to be using today to download Start 11. So I've got this Softpedia page up here. I'll have it linked down below. And once it finishes installing, it will open automatically for you and present you with the activation screen. And you can see right here, the third option here on the bottom is start 30 day trial. So that's what we're gonna do. All you have to do is enter in an email address. So I'll put in my YouTube business email here and we'll click on continue. And it will send you an email that you have to open up and click a link to activate the 30 day trial. So I've done that. And you can see, there you go. It says, thank you, your trial has been successfully activated. So now I can click on finish and use this program, the full version. This is not like a limited version or anything. 
everything for free for this 30 day period, which is perfect if you're not really sure if you're going to like this or not. Now, since I've got the taskbar in the center of the screen here, it will ask me if you want to pin it to the left side of the screen. So we're going to say yes, and it'll automatically move it over there. Uh, chances are, if you're going to be using this program, you probably want the start menu to function like it did in previous versions of Windows. So that's why it asks you like, hey, do you want to put the start menu back to where it's supposed to be? Uh, but hey, if you want it in the center, you can totally keep it in the center and you can actually change that from uh, start 11 here. You don't have to open up the settings applications. You just go to taskbar here and you uh, go to its advanced taskbar options. And just up here, the first option is position the start menu in the center of the taskbar. You just change that to on. And there you go. So yeah, super easy. Now, uh, on the main page here under start menu, this is where you get to choose if you want the Windows 7 style or the modern style. The Windows 7 style start menu looks pretty good. It blends in really well, at least I think, with Windows 11's design language. So we can open it up here. And yeah, check this out. You've got rounded corners, very similar color, but the layout of it is extremely close to what we saw in Windows 7, of course, with the exception of the Windows menu button being up here, which opens up the regular start menu and with the addition of this universal applications uh, pop-up menu here, which would show all of your UWP apps. So here they are right here. But all programs, you can go through all your programs. You can search for applications, use this as a run box. I can run Winver from here. All the standard stuff you can do with the Windows 7 uh, style start menu. Very, very nice. Now the modern style here blends it in even better with Windows 11. So if we open this up here, now this really looks like something I feel that Microsoft would do if they were going to reintroduce the old layout for the start menu in Windows 11. It looks very close to the, I mean, with the exception of like, it's not really floating here, you can see. It is, you know, closer to the taskbar, but you've got those same rounded corners. Now you can change the theme. So for the modern style here, you've got two themes, modern theme, which is the one we just took a look at, and modern theme without icon, which just gets rid of the user icon, which honestly I think looks better in Windows 11 here. The Windows 7 style here, you do have some more start menu themes, but the default one is the only one that really blends in well with Windows 11 here. But if I change this to rounded Windows 7, for example, it really looks like uh, this start menu was just ripped out of Windows 7 and dropped here into Windows 11 but hey if that's what you prefer if you prefer a more arrowy looking start menu you can definitely go for this uh, theme right here. But as is pretty typical with a Stardock program, there are a lot of customization options within this configuration panel. So you can change not only the theme, but some visual settings. You can change what actually shows up on the menu. You can go to taskbar here and say you wanna adjust your taskbar transparency, you can do that here. You can make it completely transparent if you want. Uncheck use automatic color and pick your own color that you want. So say you want your taskbar to be pink, you can do that. You can set it to like 40% uh, transparency here. You can turn off blurring for the wallpaper. So there, there's a lot of really cool stuff you can do in here. You can also disable the search. So for example, if you don't like this search in here and you want to use Windows 11's search, you can turn that off. And I think even if you start typing in here, yeah, if you start typing with the start menu open, it will uh, just default to the uh, Windows 11 search interface here if you have this turned off. If you have it turned on, it'll just, you know, it automatically places your cursor in the search box here. But yeah, guys, there you have it. That is a brief look at Start 11 version 0.5, the latest beta version as of me recording this video. I think it's a pretty cool piece of software. I personally think it's worth $5, but hey, try it out. See if you like it. It's free after all for 30 days. And yeah, that's really all I've got for you guys today. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to get subscribed down below and turn on those channel notifications if you haven't already to get notified whenever I upload a new video, which I do multiple times every single week on this channel. And as always, I want to thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.